did you know that there can be black, rotten, disgusting pieces in your broccoli that you buy and you won't even know they exist because they're hidden inside the tight florets. In this video I'm going to show you how to properly prep broccoli. Here's the amount of broccoli that we buy in our household. It's quite a lot. We are a family of four, sometimes five when my son comes home from college and we all love broccoli. But the thing about broccoli here is when you buy it in these tightly packed nylon packages in the supermarket or even in the farmer's market, it's hard to check that the florets are nice and fresh and tight and there are no decaying rotten bits hidden inside the florets. I discovered patches when I was peeling the broccoli and there was a bad smell so I checked inside the florets and there were these decaying black patches. These are my two paring knives that I use to peel my broccoli. I always always peel my broccoli because that's how my mother always prepped her broccoli by peeling the fibrous bark off the stems then you don't get any chewy stringy bits when you take a bite and you guarantee yourself by peeling that you'll get a juicy fresh crunchy with no stinky rotten decaying black parts hidden inside the florets here's just remember to peel your broccoli because nobody wants to get any stinky decaying rotten pieces in their mouths when they're thinking of getting a nice juicy piece of broccoli it takes a bit more work but you know you just put some music on put the TV on have the kids help you around the table now these small pieces that you see me taking off these small leaves I keep them because I like their taste and here there's a lot of techniques of how to peel the stem away this is how I like to I take it from the bottom and I peel it from the bottom to the top as far as I can you don't need to go crazy just where you can take it off easily with the paring knife sometimes it'll come off by itself and the stem is perfectly edible underneath so you're saving all this flesh I know some people they just trash and throw away the whole piece of that and look this is perfectly edible and it's nice and juicy and, and tasty here you'll it reveals when you peel the bark away it reveals a nice slender moist fresh new stem inside which you can it's so good you could eat it raw in a salad this is the bark that if you didn't peel you would be chewing on so I like to peel my bark it's a bit of a work and I hate extra work but it's definitely worth it I like to peel prep all my broccolis put it in a container and keep it in the fridge so whenever I need it I'll just throw in a handful example of just how big a stem of a broccoli can be so what I like to do is to take my peri knife and start from the end and fibrous bark and to reveal a nice soft tender stem inside which is perfectly delicious and edible and it would be a waste of money to throw it away after you've paid for the complete weight so just a few fun facts about broccoli it's a cruciferous vegetable which means it's one of those dark green leafy vegetables it fights against cancer that's breast cancer prostate cancer bladder cancer kidney cancer and even the stomach cancer it helps boost the immune system so that's especially good for anybody who's recovering from any kind of sickness it also fights against inflammation and it's full of antioxidants and minerals bioactive compounds vitamins such as C and K it's also been said that it helps control the sugar level in the body the re resources also say that it helps the gut function and bowel movements and a healthy digestive system now our dishes are only as good as our ingredients so I want to show how to choose and buy the best broccoli look for tightly packed small florets the buds should be small and close together not spaced out like this this big 
float here that I have in my hand. The more spaced out and the bigger the buds and if it's yellow it definitely means that it's old, aging and just walk away from it. It's a whole different cooking feeling when you have prepped peeled broccoli in the fridge ready to be used. Now I want to show you some of our favorite family broccoli dishes. Here's a stir fry broccoli, wood ears and a collection of colorful veg red and yellow peppers and a nice vegetarian sauce. More wood ears and yuba which is skin tofu. Lotus roots that I found in the local market and here I'm making, I'm just checking again that there are no decaying black disgusting patches in the broccoli. I swear that it is the worst. So I'm making sure that there's none in the broccoli florets and then I'm throwing them in a pot and adding just some water and to, to soften so that it would make a moorish thick broccoli soup. I do not use cream it's just pure broccoli, garlic, onion, water, salt and pepper and it is the best soup for a cold winter's day. Beef and broccoli, one of the most popular dishes served in Asian restaurants and it's definitely one of our family favorites. Some other of our family favorites is broccoli with snow peas, a huge pot of chow mein with cruciferous greens such as broccoli of course, spinach and asparagus. This is a huge crowd pleaser. It's a real firm favorite in our family and when friends come over I just make a huge pot of fresh seasonal greens, whatever I have in the fridge and some soaked rice noodles or vermicelli noodles. These noodles stay ages in the cupboard, it's great. I always have a pack and you just put it straight on the table or serve onto individual bowls and everybody can just top it with sesame or more soy sauce and there you have it. It's really really fast and tasty. Here is some more broccoli and seasonal Turkish spinach more broccoli with yuba and tofu and shiitake, broccoli with some fresh salmon that I grilled. So as you can see we really like broccoli and I hope that I gave you some ideas. Please remember just to clean your broccoli thoroughly. Enjoy! Bye! Till next time!